Right, we've embarked on another random project. Um, what you can see here is part, well there's the other part, and then there's this bit, and we've also started already stripping, as you see in another clip a bit later on, the other one there. It's a Clayton rolling road, uh, water braked, so there's two water brakes, one per set of rollers. We'd like to computerise it possibly into the future, but for a minute we just want to get the dyno set up, so that, the first thing we're doing is completely stripping it down. Um, down to the bare frames which will then shot blast and paint um, and the water brakes themselves need quite a lot of attention so we're going to, we've already stripped one and we're going to be stripping the other one um, for bearings and repairs and whatnot. so we're going to start here by uh, pulling the rollers out of the frames which is literally just releasing the bearings on each end uh, with the buzz gun and then we should be able to see what's going on with the brakes right so that's the two rollers out of the first frame um, if you think the grease and crap on the underside here is bad, you should have seen the state of the whole units when we picked them up. The, this is a, these, as you see them, are after a degrease and pressure wash. They were absolutely hanging. Good job we had a rent for that. Yeah. So now we're just these um these brakes here. These are your mechanical brakes. Uh, air there's air valves on them. Um, the idea is you you push a lever, it locks the rollers, so you can drive the vehicle on and off of the uh, of the dyno. Obviously, otherwise it would just spin the rollers. So we just need to work out how to get them off. There we go, frame number one bare, bit of a state, um, but you can tell this is old because everything is made properly. Just removing a few airline fittings, that operates the brakes. Right, this is the airbag. Operates the mechanical brake. Power is still disconnecting the airlines. And slip and fucking scare myself. Or just destroy the threads. Tees off and goes to each roller. I'm just completely stripping them down for shot blasting basically. So to get their airbags, hey, that's the top air fit in. There's a nut there and a nut there. Just loose them off, push them through that recess, and the whole thing drops right out. Right, I've just uh, stripped all of the um, pipe work and regulators and electronics um, out of the other brake. So that's just the water brake left in the frame. So I just need to undo the two bearings, and that will lift out, um, which then leaves us with basically. A complete dyno frame in pieces. Uh, I'm going to get these shot blasted so then we can repaint them just to tidy it up a bit. Uh, that's the other brake there. Sadly that one's got a bit of a corrosion issues. I um, haven't decided yet if I should repair it or see if we can find another one but they are quite rare. Right, go on. This is the, this is the bad water brake, well we, what we believe to be the bad water brake. So we're just going to try stripping it down. Um, I've never stripped one of these down before. So we're kind of just taking it apart, carefully working out how it comes apart. So we're just pulling this carrier bearing off the end, which supports one end of the brake. And then we're going to see if we can split the housing here um, and just see what we're dealing with. Because, again, we've never had one of these apart, so we're learning as we go, really. Alright, we've got the end off. Um, found the issue. This will be the issue with these dynos. This is the bottom now. Just where all the water um, basically was, just resting and whatnot, it's just sat there, pulled. If you look, the top half look, is still. This is basically that's your stator. This is your rotor. This fills up the water to load the dyno. Um, so one acts upon the other. Of course, if this rusts out, you lose the ability to load. I mean, this would still. I would imagine this would still produce a fair amount of load, but not the amount of load it would produce from you. Um, obviously, once upon a time, I think this piece here you could probably replace but Clayton no longer exists so parts are no longer available. Um, I do possibly know of a new brake, however I must admit I am wondering whether or not this could be weldable. If the, if the blades of the state are inside look good I'm wondering. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna see if it's well. 
it's fucked, so we're basically going to try and strip it. She can't get no worse. Let's see what we can do it. Now the next problem is going to be pulling this off. They have provided holes for pulling. Right, as you can see, we're pulling off the um, the rotor now. We just want to investigate whether or not there's any potential to sort of weld this up um, and keep it going. Or and there's also a bearing this end of the unit that's bad. I mean, it's still going round, but it's sounding horrible. Um, I'd imagine the water's got in it. This bearing in here is obviously must be sealed because there's no way of greasing it. So we're going to pull this off now. So we've got the air chisel and some things. Just gentle pressure behind it. Oh, I've got to turn the air on there. Not... See full extent of the issue. A little bit gone in the sides here as well. Yeah, it's all welded. Though, I don't know. 